Hello there, this is Stephen with El Mansur Artistic Education. For today, we're going to work on abstract art. And specifically in abstract art today, we're going to take a look at some geometric art. All right, our goals for each session that I do for art will be these. One, I'm going to introduce you to an artist. The second thing is I'm going to tie it to our academic subjects, math, science, language, arts, and history. And then third, we're going to create an art piece. And then finally, we're going to get curious with an extension activity. So let's jump right on into it. All right, today, this is an example of geometric art. As you can see, there are various geometric shapes. You have triangles, you have rectangles, and you have various shapes. And they're all in different colors. And notice how you see the blues, you see the reds, you see the greens. You also see the white lines and how those white lines, the way they intersect, create additional shapes. So you can see a giant triangle created out of the white lines. Those are done with intention and they're done by the artist. So we're going to introduce you today to Frank Stella. Frank Stella was an American artist who was born in New York City. He's currently still alive. He's 83 years old. He worked with geometric shapes, and you can find more information about Frank Stella on this website here that I have that you can link to in the Google Classroom after you finish watching this video. Okay, here is a famous painting done by Frank Stella, and you can see it has squares, and then each square goes from smaller to larger and each square is painted in a different color. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to create, and by create, I mean this. We're gonna create our own geometric abstract art. So we're gonna go to a search engine and type in abstract geometric art. Next, we're gonna select an image and then we're gonna draw it. Then you're gonna submit a picture of your artwork to myself, there's my email address. And then for fun, when you're done, you can pick one extension activity that ties into other academic subjects. For example, for reading, you can read Frank Stella's biography and then pretend you are interviewing him. You can write five questions you would ask him. Next, you can look at history. You could study New York in the 1930s. For math, you can read about a history of squares. And for science, you can learn how colors influence our moods. So there everybody are, happy children. So hopefully you can do this activity and it'll make you very happy. Now, just to show you something, I went and did this activity as well last night. So you can take a look. Here is what my Frank Stella drawing looks like. So I did the square activity. So just go out there and try it. It doesn't matter what your artwork looks like. Of course, mine is not going to hang in any sort of museum at all. But it's just the fun of being able to create, to draw, to color, and it helps you calm down in these very stressful times. So anyway, that is Stephen. That is our art lesson for today. I'll be back tomorrow with more exciting, fun things to do. Hope everybody is staying safe. Enjoy yourself, take care, and I will see you soon.